Hey everybody, my name is Josh Curran. I'm a solutions architect with OpenGear and today I'm going to show you how to add static routes to your OpenGear device. Now before we get started, I want to take a brief moment and talk about static routes, what they are and what they're used for. They are mainly configured routing entries and this entry essentially lets network devices know how to get to remote resources or subnets that they would otherwise not have a route to. Now these static routes are fixed and do not change and they're mainly used for smaller simpler networks where there's no need for any dynamic routing protocol such as OSPF. Okay we have a pretty straightforward example for you today. You can see that we have an open gear device in particular this is an OM2224. Um, it's, uh, we, we have it connected to a router using the Net2 interface and uh, that has been configured with a uh, slash 30 network that way they can talk to each other and on the other side of that router we have a network 192.6850 network that we're going to actually create a static route to so this open gear device can actually see this network. Alright let's get started. So. I'm logged in the CLI here of my open gear device and uh, if I want to do a route minus in you can see that uh, we can see the 1050 network that's connected to our net 2 interface but we don't see any route to the 192.168.50 interface and uh, in fact if I do a ping of 192.168.50.1 I'm uh, getting nowhere so we need to add that static route in. So now we're going to go into our UI interface ahead and go into configure. We're going to go into network, uh, network connections and then click on static routes. And here on the right hand side you want to click the add button here and we'll just add a test uh, name in here. We'll do a test route and the destination network will be the 192.168.50.0 network with a net mask of 24. And then we're going to actually use our uh, route gateway is to the other end device that we know of, which is the 10.50.0.2 uh, gateway of the Cisco router. And we're going to interface will be through Net2, and we're just going to give it a metric of 10. We click apply, and we see now that this test route has been added. Now, if we go back to our CLI and we do a route minus n here, uh, we now see that the 192.168 network is available uh, using the 1050.0.2 uh, address. So when we want to do a ping 192.168.50.1, we can now get to this network. So, and that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.